So now we have done with the basic uh, painting of the background for the scenery. <clears throat> now, now this is dry. This is part two. Part one uh, video is done. Now this is part two video. We have done a basic uh, background. So it's dried like almost it is dry. So after you dry, you have to give another touch wherever you feel there is a light finishing. So I have some light finishing over here. This part should be a little more darker. So I'll be using black. <clears throat> I'll be using black to make it little brighter using little water. I'm just dabbing it. I'm making it a little more darker and giving a smooth finish. Just dab it. Making it brighter. Just dab it. You have to dab it very delicately because the sheets are made tear because it's very sheets are very flexible and soft. So dab it very slowly. That's enough. Here we'll be having a lighter effect only. So dab it till here. So here we'll give a light finishing using white. Wash your brush and clean it with the cloth. Let's use with white here and mix it. You have to mix it where the two colors are meeting. I've loaded little white. <laughs> we'll give a light effect. Just mix it and give a very light effect. Just push it towards the black so that it doesn't look like a patchwork. Over here also, I'm just giving some mixing. Just do a mixing with white so that it doesn't look like a patch. So now we have done with the <clears throat> basic scenery by giving another touch after it is dried. So now we will start with the 
three branches. So we'll be doing the branches now. These branches will be using black. Uh, you have to use black and brown. This is the brown. Go with little lighter brown and black. This is black. So we'll be using uh, round brush number two. Uh, the first color will be using black. So I'll just show you all. Let us start. So black will be given in the sides. We'll outline the branches in black only on the sides first. We'll and I'm just dabbing little in the center in between. Now immediately before it dries past, I'm taking brown. And I'm just mixing it, I'm mixing the brown along with the black. We have to do it little fast so that we don't have a patchwork. So blend it, the sides mainly. So for the branches, we don't use direct black. So this mixing is very, very important with brown and black. So we'll continue creating another. We make this little thin. Now let us use brown in the center. I'm just dab it little, little here and there. And then we'll mix it with the in between. Continue with the same method for all the branches. Just gave a thick stem over here, little downwards. And applying brown. So let us shape it in this pattern, making Okay, now let's draw the tiny branches. We can use um, number Let's use uh, round brush number one to be thin to create the extended branches. Where it will be little thin actually. So let's proceed. I'm just extending to branches here. And here in the corner, a little lower. Yeah. I'm creating over here also. Create some bushes. Okay. 
So the bushes height will reduce when it comes over here. Yeah. That's it. That's enough. So with this, we'll be creating the bushes. So here we'll be creating uh, some tiny leaves over here. Then here we'll create the bushes. So we'll start. The tiny leaves will be done with black and brown mixing. So I'm taking two drops of black and mixing with brown. Always direct the black will not put and also I'm mixing some green. I'm going to mix some green, sap green, this green. I mixed some brown and black here. Now I'm taking sap green, mixing here. Create the leaves. So it's going to be a darker shade of the leaves. So now we will take round brush. I'm taking round brush number two. So with the Tip of the brush, I'm going to create the leaves. I'm just going to press a little and then leave it to create leaves. Just a touch, the leaves will get created. Just a touch with the tip of your I'm just giving some dots next to that like a leaf effect Just creating these are the leaves. So we'll create the leaves in these corners. Just dabbing here to give a leaf effect with the tip of the brush. So if you just dab it with the tip of your brush, it will give its own style of leaves. I'm just highlighting a little darker over here. The black already we have given a green background. Later we'll be giving an yellow. Okay. 
making a bunch of leaves this leaf slightly falling down like this so everything get the shape of falling down that will give a beautiful look for the scenery now overlapping on the branch This so so I'm just slightly bringing it down. Let's create some more here. Making it thick little. So we will just bring this little more further. Creating some more leaves in the sides. Now over here, uh, it, we have done with the three leaves. It's a little over here, it, it's very plain.
just pulling the stuff. We're done with the tree branches. I'm just shaking instead of making it a sharp edge, I'm just shaking it here. Making this thick to thick. giving a little black touch to highlight the leaves. We are using little. Okay, I think this is enough. Little more black touch here. In between. To highlight the leaf branches. Same way, I'm just doing it with the tip of my brush, highlighting it a bit black. Okay, now we are done with the three branches. We highlight over here a little. We'll have to give some yellow also. So we'll do that later. So we'll create a little over. This dab doesn't look very hard. Yes, that's fine. Now we will do these branches. I'll be showing you a brush where the brush has become brittle. We'll be using a brittled. We'll be using a brittled brush. I'll show you all. See, this brush is brittled. Use an old brush, and you have to brittle it in this pattern. You have to put your ring finger, sorry, index finger, and do it in this way so that it becomes wider and brittle. Now we'll be using the same color, the green, black, and brown to create the bushes. So now we will be um, doing the bushes. If we have done with the tree leaves, now we will do the bushes. Where I told you all, we are going to we are going to use a little brush with same color, mixing with green. A drop of uh, two drops of green, two drops of brown, and one drop of black. So before uh, doing it, we have to check this within a plain sheet. So you have to check it in a plain sheet and see your bushes are coming in this pattern. See? 
so if you have if you load more paint then it will uh, give you a patchwork and it will be very closer it, it will not give these gaps like a tree bush so you have to check always check in the sheet and see whether your bushes are coming in this pattern so now we'll do it on the main sheet So we'll start from here. We'll start from top. I'm starting from here. I'm overlapping a little on this. So always check it in the paper. So I'm overlapping. On the tree bush also a little. And you will be doing with yellow. See, I'm just creating bushes. I'll just zoom a little so that it will be easy for you all to understand. Yeah. So let's try on this corner. I'm creating bushes. So it's very easy with. When you have a brittle brush, we'll mix a little more black. So I've mixed a little more darker and just sticking on the paper. So it's a little dark. So with this, we will create bushes. Once again, I'm giving a black finishing here. You have to bring it down in a thin pattern. Here it should be fat. When it falls down, it should be thin. So let's create over here. So all these are bushes. So once you practice this on a sheet of paper and do it, it will be very easy to get this effect on the main sheet. This corner, the other bushes. That is enough. Now we'll be using some yellow. Let's go with lemon yellow, mixing it with little white. Now let's create yellow bushes. It's same effect. Uh, I'll just check it on the sheet. See? A little low mixed with little green. So I'm going to use this on the bushes here. Just dab it. 
given hello effect. So we've created some yellow bushes for these bushes at the base. Now we will create for these leaves now. Create for these leaves also. A little, little here and there. Creating on these bushes little. Can overlap on these branches, the bushes, the fill, you can overlap on the branches. Let's not do much of a low here. I'm using the green, green dark green also. A little touch, not much. That's it. So little is enough. Let's not do too much of yellow and green. So if you want to darken the leaves a little more, you can darken it with the same rounded as the two. Making the leaves a little more dark. So this so darker shade is little important for this tree especially. For the leaves, especially for the leaves.
So we have done with the leaves near the branches, making this a little more brighter. So we have almost done. Uh, here I think we can. We need some bushes over there. We have to fall down. Looks very plain here. So we are almost done with the bushes. I'll zoom out. So we'll highlight a little. I'll just give some poker here. Over. Just over for, for mixing. A touch always after it dries, it's better we use the upper color. Here, ochre has to be highlighted little. I'm using little water and then mixing it over here. I use very little ochre and apply it here and then mixing with water. Only one. We can use a little yellow to highlight this. Okay. And also a little white to so give a dull finish. Little white to give a dark edge. So here we have done with the gray. So on the gray, we can give little ochre. Again, water wash. I'm using one after applying some ochre, I'm using only water for the mixing here. This is called water wash along with the color, little color. So you can see a little touch of ochre gives 
so much of difference in the painting. Just the water wash with little touch of water. So we have almost done with the final stage. Now what we'll do is we'll highlight the black little more. Finally, we're starting from here again. Don't uh, use a lot of water when you're giving this final touch of black. Here we will merge it later along with white. Just apply now. So this part is become a little brighter. Now we will use white wash your brush and mix a little more blend it blend it so that it doesn't look like a patch blend it nicely now let's take white with same brush apply white here and with little water we will do the mix Mix it so that we don't get a patch. That's it. We got a brighter effect now. So after making this bright, you can see the painting got highlighted. So now the ochre is done, and we will use little brown. To highlight this part of the painting. So I'm taking brown, little brown, applying here. And also over here. Light brown. Go with light brown. Just mixing light brown, very light touch. Or else your paper sheet will get torn. Basically, we're giving a sand color. It's a mountain. We got the effect. We're giving it only a little. Take it towards here. Yeah. So here now I will give, make it a little brighter in black.
and mixing it with water. Just mix it with so that your border should not look like a patchwork. Mixing it with little water again. I made this mountain on the top a little brighter by giving a gray effect. I think I can give a little more. The final touch is very, very important to highlight the painting. Yes. You can give a little touch over here also. Now, just water wash. That's it. So, we are done with the brown, ochre, then again gray. Now, finally, and also we are given a white finishing. So, now finally, what we'll do, we will give a gray finish for the mountains here below give a gray finish on this the final touch this is the final touch we're giving a gray finish for the complete paint Give a little over. Mm. 
yeah so we have done with this painting so with this i think you all can do the simple watercolor painting you can try this it is uh, so i hope you all enjoyed this video understanding how to do watercolors uh, so any doubt you all can call me and be giving my number in the description box and also the material details so thank you for watching signing off from artistic studio